Hi guys, welcome to another Dynamic CCTV technical video. Today we're going to be looking at the LIGO wave setup, basically point to point. So first things first, um, we're going to need to change our IP address of our device um, to match that of the range of the LIGO wave. So we're going to go into our network settings, change adapter options, select our device and go to the IPv4. So in here, we're going to need to change the range of our computer to match that. So it's 192.168.2. 100 I'm going to put in there it doesn't matter about any of the other settings I'm just going to say okay to that as long as it's in the two range that should do so now we open a web browser and go to the default IP address of the device which is 192.168.2.66 once that pops up we get to the login page which is cool we go into admin the default admin um, password for the device is admin01 so tap them details in there we get to this page here we need to set the location of our device so yes we want to agree to the terms and conditions and yes we want to set this to united kingdom once we've clicked this it should take a little bit of a time um, and that will set our united kingdom settings okay so now we've logged into the device we've got to change a few settings so first things first is we want to change that admin or one password um, so we don't get anyone logging into the device unnecessarily so we're going to go, go down to settings at the top we go to system configuration and user accounts here you can see the admin account we're going to edit that i'm going to put in the old password of admin01 i'm going to change that to something more secure so no one can log into it it doesn't need to so now that's done now we need to go into setting the ip details up of the device in the IP details, we're going to go to Network Configuration. You'll notice here it says DHCP IP Fallback. There's our default IP address. The reason for that is if I'd connected this to a router or anything giving out um, a DHCP address, the LIGO wave would automatically have picked up a DHCP address and we could have searched the device for that, um, that given address. If you'd, like in this instance where we haven't connected it to anything given out DHCP, it will automatically use the fallback address of 192.168.2.66. So, first things first, here we need to change that anyway. So we need to change that from dynamic to static. And we need to change it from our, the default IP address is 266. And in the case, I'm going to change it to 90 just to get it off that range. Okay. Once we've done that, we've changed that to 90. We're going to go down and actually set the wireless itself up. So the wireless itself, we need to go at the wireless configuration. You'll see there it's in station mode. We want to put it into access point. Access point being the one that creates the wireless and generally as for, for best practice is the DVR end of your wireless link. So in here we're going to choose access point. We're going to use the iPol 3 version, which is LIGO's own version, um, which is a bit better. I and mean, you'll notice here we've got TX power. Um, certainly in, in um, if you've got these devices fairly close to each other within 100 meters, you want to be turning that all the way down. On both sides but we'll come to that in a bit um, any questions on that or power or how far to do how far to set them etc just give us a call okay so we've set it to access point we've set it to thing now we need to name our uh, our link so in here network study we need to click this little cog here we need to give it a name in this instance we're going to call it uh, demo bridge and in there we need to put some security just put WPA in there. Passcode of 12345678. I certainly suggest you use something a bit stronger than that, but for this demo, that'll do. Okay, so we'll do, do that. So that's pretty much it. We've, that's going to set our access point up ready for use. Um, all we've got to do here is click Save Changes. It should give us a rundown, which it has. So we've got the operating mode is back into an access point. Um, to, to we turn the power down there. We've given it an SSID and we've put a password on that. We've put the um, static IP address in and we've also changed the system password. So if we click save to that, that should give a quick uh, restart and then we'll move on to setting the uh, station side up. Okay, so we fired our station end up now, same IP address as before, 192.168.2.66. Um, we've gone through the process of our, telling it that it's in the UK, so we've saved that already. So here we go at the standard landing page. So this is fairly simple. First things first, we're going to repeat the process we did before. We're going to get rid of that um, admin address, admin, sorry, admin password. So if we go down to system configuration and go to user accounts, same as before, admin, oops, or, or one. 
and then we're going to put something a bit stronger in. Okay, I'm going to save that. Go back to our wireless settings, sorry, IP settings to do the um, static IP change. Um, we're going to give that a 91. Obviously, that wants to be different from your your other end, your access point end. And now we're going to go into wireless configuration. So in here, you see this is already picked up. It's already defaulted at station, which is what we want. We want station. We want iPol three. So now we need to tell it. Um, I'm going to bring that power down again. We're going to tell it which network to log into. So we click the little cog. You can see here um, we've got the default lag or if we click search that should do a quick search for any available wireless networks it'll take a little bit of time and there we go so we've got quite a few in here but down at the bottom there we can see demo bridge the one we set up earlier we select that and click select that's automatically filled it in so we need to fill our passcode in which is our very secure one two three four five six seven eight if you say okay to that that should basically connect now to our existing access point that's sitting up and running, and that's basically all there is to it. Um, obviously, the station and generally be, generally is at your camera side. Um, if we click Save ch Changes to that, you can see what we've done again. We've dropped the power. We've added it to the Demo Bridge SSID. We've got it to log into that. Um, we've changed our bridge address, oh, sorry, our, our station address, and also our uh, password. If we click Save to that, That'll run through a few uh, saving things and we should be get back on and see how it looks once it's connected. Okay, so now if that's rebooted and we've got it logged in, you can see now down at the bottom here, you can see from the station side that it's connected to the demo bridge. That's our uh, transmit and receive rate there, which is fine. And also up in the top right hand corner, you can see that it's, there's the signal to noise ratio. You can see it's, if you hover over that, it'll come up with it's showing an excellent. And it'll give you a rough idea of how to set your power, or maybe if you need to realign them if you're getting poor signal strength there. So I hope that's been helpful. That's basically a basic look down how to set these up. Um, as always, any queries or problems, just give us a call at Dynamic CCTV, and we'll be happy to help.